In late 2009, at a regional leaders meeting, Roger Edmonds came along and visited us and showed us some of the amazing technology that is used for shared curriculum delivery. It was around about this time that some of the schools were sharing some of their concerns about course counselling and the numbers. And in fact, at that time, Underdale High School started having conversations with William Light Art 12 School. We were concerned that we weren't able to offer the, some of the Year 12 courses in Physics and Chemistry. And from Roger's presentation, we were really excited about the potential of having some shared curriculum delivery using the advanced technologies. The lessons were conducted as choose using Centro Moodle. Uh, the students who logged on William Lyon would answer questions and could receive immediate feedback and get help if any difficulties arose. My teaching area is physics and it's managed to keep the subject alive. Um, not only has it led to bigger and more viable classes for next year, but the kids have enjoyed it. Using ICT, I was able to teach the Year 8s through the Year 12s. Starting with the Year 12s allowed me to extend these methodologies right across the school curriculum and all year levels. There's another helium-3 in the core of the sun and it generates helium-4. This mainly consisted of Moodle for the Year 8s to 12s, but Central was extremely useful for those times when students were away. In other words, this charge is 1 and the mass of that is 0. Another positive of using Moodle and Centro was that I was able to get support from the staff at the Learning Technology Centre office. DEX Learning Technologies is a unit within uh, DEX that is specialising in e-learning. It's providing opportunities through technologies like the Sava Centra uh, web conferencing um, program and uh, online learning environments like Moodle to have students and teachers engage together in learning that happens anywhere, anytime. And that's making a lot of difference to contemporary 21st century uh, teaching and learning. It's providing those opportunities for students to access content uh, at home, uh, in their own time, to catch up on missed lessons. And for teachers, it's providing opportunities for them to create content in their own time and have it accessible for the uh, students to, to use uh, when it's convenient for them to use. There was one occasion when I did get sick and was able to set release from home. The benefits of using Moodle and Centra was that I was able to set release and monitor it from home in my bed and see how students were doing. When I came back to school, I was able to carry on as if I hadn't been away. Plus, this element. Now, what's that number and that number there? The advantage of using Centra and Moodle for the students were basically that they were able to go back and see content if they'd missed less, any lessons or catch up and review their progress. The uh, approach also allowed students to help each other and there are times when I actually got some students to help each other who are absent from the lessons and this helped them learn and develop their Moodle and Central skills. Students have really embraced this learning. They've enjoyed the flexibility that it's provided. They've been able to access staff and also peer support at any time. I liked it because it gave us the opportunity to communicate between two schools without travelling. It allows us to access things online and to post things online. Um, yeah, it's just been really good actually. It's been good, you know, you can use it, you can interact with William Light and uh, you can see, see what they're doing at their school and how they're learning and we can see how we're learning and we can combine it together and so it's been good. We could access it from our home after hours after school and we could watch back the lessons if we didn't understand something. Two for its atomic number and obviously the mass number or the number of nucleons on the right hand, left hand side adds up to three. So the number here happens to be 
three. Upon reflection, I would recommend having a T&D day with the students right at this very start of the year to make sure that they understood how to use the application like Moodle and Centra. This will also make sure that they understood how to overcome any potential problems and then solve them independently. As a result, it would make them more efficient at using Moodle and Centra. It also requires ongoing T&D for students as well as staff. Throughout the year the two sites have worked in very close partnership. We've been able to monitor student performance and progress and we've been really pleased with their achievements. We've been able to review the model and we believe that it's been very successful. And of course we've been able to support our teachers in modifying their own teaching practice to include a range of online delivery options. Mm -hmm.